might not know that the state of Minnesota has a goal of reaching 10% solar by 2030. That would take Minnesota from nearly 1 gigawatt of solar capacity now, in 2019, to as much as 6 gigawatts by the end of 2030. Enough energy to power more than 700,000 Minnesota homes. Minnesota Solar Pathways is designed to explore least risk, best value strategies to meet, meet this and other solar energy goals. The Solar Potential Analysis, um, also called the SPA, is uh, one of the main technical outputs of this uh, Pathways project. And this was a model we ran to try to identify the least cost pathways um, to our renewable energy goals. And there are three key findings out of the SPA. Um, of course, the headline finding is that both our 2030 10% uh, statutory non-binding solar goal for Minnesota, as well as a future goal of 70% renewables by 2050 are both cost effective compared to uh, alternative generation options. Uh, the SBA had two unique findings on top of the headline result. The first is what we termed additional capacity. We found that it was often cheaper to build overbuild solar and wind capacity compared to building long-term battery storage. And the reason is the cost of solar and wind end up to be cheaper than the cost of batteries when used on a seasonal storage basis. The second unique finding of the SPA was that the, the costs are still very dependent on delivering the last fully dispatchable renewable kilowatt hours. So we found that in order to reduce those costs, we had to supply a resource into the system that was not dependent on Minnesota wind and solar resources. In the SPA, we used a combined cycle natural gas, but this could also be renewable energy delivered from some other part of the country. We were very fortunate to complete the SPA at a time when there was a lot of work nationally looking at um, both the, the, the costs and the barriers of um, high penetration renewable energy. And we were among the first studies to show that curtailment was a very viable strategy to reaching um, low cost renewable energy generation. When the state or its cities want to accelerate adoption of solar PV in its region, uh, the typical response is to design a program, an incentive program that would offer financial incentives to the electric customers in the area. But when designing a program of this sort, it's difficult to know how many customers would actually respond to the program, how many would adopt, uh, what, what uh, incentive level is required, how many people would adopt, how much additional solar capacity would result from the program, and how much carbon offset would be uh, expected from a program of this sort. So the solar development strategy tool is a calculation engine that helps the program designers answer these important questions. The Solar Pathways project has done a lot of technical analysis and a lot of modeling that's been really tremendous and gr groundbreaking in a lot of ways. I think we're really going to be able to, to maximize uh, the understanding of how solar deployment uh, uh, benefits a variety of different stakeholders and a variety of different um, causes uh, in Minnesota by engaging people uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the study results and in the modeling that we've done.